we going live now? Do we have pitcher? Okay, we got pitcher. Hello, everyone. This is Jay. And we are here in San Antonio, Texas for Monday Night Raw. And unfortunately, uh, we are on the third match of the usual seven. Had some technical difficulties. And I apologize. And by technical difficulties, I mean that I just pretty much forgot to hit live. So I'm sorry, folks. <clears throat> uh, let me go ahead and update you on what happened. Edge defeated Neville. And John Cena defeated Goldust in the first two matches. This is the third match. And uh, we have Naomi taking on Lita. Up next, we have Roman Reigns taking on The Rock. Followed by Emma taking on Layla. Jake Roberts will take on, uh, excuse me, Jake Roberts will take on Xavier Woods in a non-title match, and Finn Balor will take on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus in a non-title match as well for your main event. Once again, folks, I deeply apologize for forgetting to hit live. And Naomi's arm going right through her own chest. That was awkward looking. Lita has Naomi on the ropes. Lita now. Bouncing Naomi off it. Oh! Lita with a spear. Folks, I just also want to go ahead and say uh, the NXT tapings that usually follow Raw will not happen tonight. They will happen tomorrow night. So, uh, please tune in tomorrow night for those. <clears throat> Naomi and Lita kicking each other in the stomachs. Naomi takes Lita down. Lita kicks Naomi away. Now just wrenching away at the neck. Lita trying to hyperextend the leg there on Naomi. Naomi shoves away Lita once again. Goes right for the pin. One. Kick out by Lita. Folks, I apologize if I may sound a little, uh, no, not so upbeat as I usually am calling these. Uh, it's been a long day today, and, well, with what happened, you know, for the stream, I, uh, yeah, didn't really help matters, really, so, again, I apologize that you all have had to miss the first two matches. And Naomi going for a hurricanrana and oh, gets sent down to the map face first. Lita goes right for the pin after that. One, two, kick up by Naomi. Running kick to the back. Lita now drops an elbow. Tosses Naomi into the corner. Lita now. Hey, uh, is it I own alone? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Lito hits a tw uh, twist of fate. There we go. Just gonna say, she might as well just go for the pin. One, two, kick out by Naomi. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, man. I will uh, I'll definitely have to check that out. And uh, glad that you're watching. I'm excited for the next one. Lita, Naomi kicking back and forth once again. Oh, oh hello kitty. Sorry, I had a uh, cat run through my legs. And Naomi goes right for the pin. One, two, kick out by Lita. Naomi picking Lita up. Oh, elbow by Lita. And cross body. Russian leg sweep by Lita. Once again, folks, I'm sorry that I, I you know, I'm, I'm sounding a little down once again. Just really bummed out that you uh, that you had to miss those first two matches and Lita big DDT catching her own foot on the ropes there Lita now goes for the pin one two Naomi kicks out kick right to the back Lita now wrenching away on the neck. Lita with a snap mare. Was where a headbutt. No. It's met with an elbow once. Oh, sorry about that, folks. I forgot to silence my phone. Naomi, a big moonsault. Thanks, Lita. More towards the center of the ring. Not sure why, but anyways, one, two, and Lita kicks out. Naomi displeased. Not getting the victory there. Lita into the corner. Naomi looks like she's gonna put her right on the top turnbuckle. Ooh, Lita trying to get away. Ooh, big super back suplex. Wow. Felt like I messed that up, but then I realized it didn't. And Lita just barely gets a shoulder up. Lita off the ropes. And Hurricanrana. Once again, we will see the women's number one contender go up against Layla. Of course, that number one contender is Emma. The number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Will, uh, Xavier Woods will take on Jake Roberts, the champion. And Lita with a moonsault, locks the legs. One, two, three. Lita gets the victory. Then of course, the number one contender for the WWE World Heavyweight Champion will take on the champion, of course, Sheamus in a non-title match as well. But up next, up next is The Rock versus Roman Reigns, a rematch from last week. Roman has not been happy with The Rock lately, doesn't appreciate his attitude, especially towards people like Neville and, uh, you know, the WWE Universe as well.
Wow, beautiful move there for the replay. But there we go. Lita hitting the moonsault. One, two, and three. Lita is your winner in the third match. Unfortunately, like I said, the first two have been lost. Let's get on to the next match. And here comes Roman Reigns. Sorry, folks, got distracted there for a moment. Roman lost to The Rock last week. But he says that the battle is not over. Said that he wanted to uh, go ahead and teach The Rock a lesson. And he will continue to do so until The Rock has been taught. Not sure if Roman can help him, but we will see. Excuse me for one moment, folks. Guys, I am back. Lone316, thank you so much for following. I appreciate it, man. Or woman. I'm not sure. In fact, I don't even know why it said man. I usually say buddy, but anyways. Back to... What the fuck? Okay. Alright, so I didn't have a cat just sniffing at my feet. Anyways, sorry about that. Roman has the rock. Russian Lake Sweep by the Samoan. Roman stopping away on the rock. Picks him up. Yeah, folks, as we all know, The Rock has been, well, just mean, I would say, lately. I mean, him and Neville started off in a, you know, a, uh, how, what's the word I'm looking for? Friendly competition between two men. And then The Rock just started attacking Neville whenever he could. 
And of course, we all saw, 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 we all saw what he did to Goldust a few weeks back. And then again, at you know, during their match. And Roman, you know, and The Rock hasn't been kind to the WWE Network as well. And Roman has not liked that. So Roman has took it upon himself to, uh, you know, teach The Rock a lesson. And he won't stop until The Rock has been taught. So, The Rock doesn't think he's doing anything wrong. You know what? To some people, he isn't. Roman gets hit with a jawbreaker. Rock picks him up. Samoan dropping. Oh, Roman's head hit the bottom rope. Roman now. Clothesline. Big knee to the side of the head of the rock. Roman now drops an elbow onto the knee of the rock. Folks, let me go ahead and talk about uh Clash of Champions. Forgot what the hell the name of the pay-per-view was. All matches have been announced. <clears throat> so. There has been a change to the Elimination Chamber match, though. The Elimination Chamber for the Hardcore title will be now between Honky Tonk... Honky Tonk Man, excuse me. Goldust, Victor, Haku... Sin Cara and Simon Gotch. It was originally Aiden English, but Simon Gotch has now been uh, is now replacing Aiden English. WCW Tag Team Championship on the line as the Hart Foundation, Jim Neidhart, and the British Bulldog take on Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, the Outsiders. ECW, excuse me, ECW Television Championship on the line as the champion Sami Zayn. Defends it, defends it. Jesus, what the hell is wrong with me? Against Hideo Itami, and The Rock has Roman in a sharpshooter. No, he doesn't. Let me continue. ECW Tag Team Championship will be on the line in a tag team exclu. In a tag team, excuse me, tornado tag team extreme rules match. As Enzo Amore and Big Cass take on Tyson Kidd and Cesaro for what may be the last time. WCW United States Championship will be on the line in a triple threat match. Arn Anderson, the champion, has to defend the belt against not only Bret Hart, but as well as Dusty Rhodes. ECW World Heavyweight Championship on the line as Chris Jericho tries to take it from the champion Samoa Joe. And then finally, WCW World Ta uh, Wow World Heavyweight Championship, not television, will be on the line as DDP, Diamond Dallas Page, defends it against Rick Rude. Rap at the count of seven and Rock went out to break it up, which is strange for The Rock. Considering The Rock would go ahead and take a count out victory. Anyways, folks, that is Clash of Champions. Looks like a great show on paper. Hopefully, it will work out. Seven great matches. One big night. September 18th. That is this coming Sunday. The following Sunday, folks. The following Sunday, the 25th, will be Night of Champions. That is where the WWE and, or, well, 
WWE Raw and NXT championships are on the line. Let me go ahead and run down the card as much as I can for that one. Of course, the new, brand new NXT European Championship will be on the line against one of the two who win the Lethal Lottery Tag Team Tournament on NXT. And so far in that tournament, we have Big Boss Man and Zack Ryder, Aiden English and Andre the Giant. Of course, those two teams will take on each other tomorrow. And then there's Santino Marella and R-Truth who will take on Dunk the Clown and X-Pac on NXT. So uh, be sure to tune in for that. So it'll be one of those eight men, well, two of those eight men who will compete at Night of Champions. The Women's Championship will be on the line as Summer Rae defends it against Emma. NXT blah, 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 blah. NXT Tag Team Championships will be on the line as Blake and Murphy try to take it away from Los Matadores. WWE Tag Team Championships also on the line as the Usos try to take it away from the ever reigning Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. And Roman almost gets the victory there. Xavier Woods, of course, as I mentioned, will take on Jake Roberts. Sorry, folks, there was just a random squeak from the other room. At least my cat found one of her toys. Roman with the Superman punch. One, two, and no, Rock kicks out. Anyways, folks, Jake the Snake Roberts will defend his Intercontinental title against Xavier Woods. Spear! Roman goes right for the pen after that spear. One, two, and three. They are now one and one, folks. All right, folks, let me go ahead and run down the rest of Night of Champions. The Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. Neville will take on Enzo Amore, as well as two other members. One member from WCW and the other being from NXT. In a four-way tables, ladders, and chairs match. NXT Championship will be on the line as Fandango tries to take it away from Kane. And then finally, the big main event, the one that everyone has been waiting for since SummerSlam. Sheamus defends his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against number one contender, Finn Balor. And folks, I will go ahead and notify you as soon as I can about the Cruiserweight Championship match. As soon as everyone gets listed for it Roman Wayne Roman Reigns Wow Roman Reigns your winner here we go Layla takes on number one contender for the women's championship Emma oh you're coming in to watch this one huh Liza, very excited for this. Here we go, folks. Welcome back. And apparently, here comes Summer Rae. Summer Rae already distracting Emma from her match. And folks, you probably don't know this, but Layla and Summer used to have a thing together. I'm not sure if they uh, are in, in cahoots again, if you call it. But anyways, we will find out, maybe. 
Layla now. I mean, Layla looked confused, but who knows? Could be acting. Oh. Emma tossing Layla right into that corner very hard. Pushes her right back into it. Ref trying to tell the two to break it up. And they... Oh! Layla slaps her. I thought they were going to break it cleanly. But apparently not. Big slap there. Emma now. Suplex. Layla getting caught up in the ropes. Emma dragging Layla into the middle of the ring. Layla off the ropes. Emma, whoa. Arm dragged by Layla. Big drop kick to the back. Layla. Beautiful suplex in there. Emma needs to keep her head in the game, folks. And I know that the women's champion is sitting outside the ring, but she really needs to uh, concentrate. Emma hits a jawbreaker. Emma tossing Layla by the hair. And oh! Stomps right in the face. Into the corner goes Layla. Once again, very hard. Sam may take over. And a big boot to the face. Kick to the back. I'm not working in the arm now. Layla takes her down once again. Another beautiful suplex there. Emma. Emma with an arm drag. Kick to the stomach. Tossing her by the hair once again. Yo, I don't know if you guys saw that, but Emma looked straight at Summer Rae. Right after doing so. Layla into the corner. Emma, oh, knee to the stomach, and here we go, Tarantula. Almost right in front of some, uh, Summer Rae. Oh, that took a lot out. I don't know. That took a lot out of Emma and Layla into the ropes. And, uh, Emma, no. Emma, don't. Emma, just leave the champion alone. Ugh. This does not... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh! Summer Rae laughing and clapping. Now just walking away. I don't know, folks. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, that looked like she was clearly helping Layla. Layla now. And oh hits her neck breaker. One, two, three. And Layla is able to put away the number one contender. Unbelievable. There it is again. Layla picks up the win. Picking up the win with much help from uh, Summer Rae. Let's get on to our next match. I don't know about you guys, but I sound like I'm uh, picking up 
I don't know the right word I'm looking for. I'm sounding more like I usually do, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, folks, Jake Roberts, Xavier Woods, and a non-title match in Jesus. Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake, excuse me, luckily not coming out with the snake. Because if he did, he... Xavier Woods would have hit... Damien as well and what the fuck? Is it me or does Xavier's back look odd? Like I'm I'm not I'm not saying that his back actually looks odd, just it looks different in the game tonight. And the bell has officially rung, the match officially started. Xavier Woods trying to get the upper hand early on. Oh, I need to stomach. Jake. About to hit a suplex, and he does. Xavier Woods now. Rides his shoulder into Jake. Jake, uh, Woods, excuse me. Oh! Jumps off the middle rope to hit a DDT. One, two, no! I don't know, folks, that was really close to being three. That was probably a 2.99. Jake with a big chopping. Left jab right to the face. Jake running bulldog. The ref almost getting caught up in it. Jake Roberts in control now. Stammer takeover. Sorry, folks. Didn't mean to hit the mic. God, my headphones just not sitting right tonight. There's one more thing to add up to a stressful day. Jake. It's a DDT. Jake Roberts goes for the pin, one, two, and Nick Xavier kicks out. Tree of Will by Xavier Woods. Xavier now just, just pushing that boot right into the face of Robert. Woods goes for the pin. One, two, Roberts kicks out. Forearm shot by Woods. Jake tossing Woods into the corner. Tells him to bring it. And oh, misses. Xavier, off the ropes goes Roberts. And big back drop. Body drop, that's the second word I was looking for. Kick to the back by Woods. Xavier, not sure what he's doing. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Woods getting punched right in the face. Converted atomic drop, sending Woods right to the mat. That would send anyone to the mat. Woods picking up Roberts. 
And, oh! Shades of Chuck Taylor. Xavier goes for the pin. One, two. Xavier Woods gets the win. Here we see the DDT by Roberts. Now midway in the match. Just planting Woods. Not enough to put him away though. We're not going to watch a replay of a Tree of Woe spot. That was nothing but shoving the boot into the face. And speaking of which, boom! And Woods picks up the victory. One, two, and three. There you have it, Xavier Woods. Let's get on to our next match. Which I believe is the main event. Xavier Woods viciously attacks champion Jake Roberts before the match began. Whoa, when the fuck did that happen? Apparently Roberts is a face and Woods is a heel now. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder why people were booing at the end. Hmm. That's right, folks. Main event time. Sheamus and Finn Balor in a non-title match. These two will meet at Night of Champions on September 25th. Of course, the champion is going to come out first. Because, you know, that makes a lot of sense. And here he comes. Sheamus, WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Has, has held the championship since November. And he is looking to hold it until this coming November and then on. Or then some. Excuse me. Jesus Christ. I knew that sounded wrong. He is looking to break all the streaks with this title, folks. He's looking to break CM Punk streak. He's looking to break. Bruno San Martino streak. Now that's the one you want to aim for, folks. And what is that, like three years or something like that? Actually, maybe more. And here comes the number one contender. Still waiting on his Super J Mug jacket. Well, personalized jacket, I should say. Finn Balor, of course, won the Super J Mug Tournament, as I said. Went ahead and won the tournament at SummerSlam to become the number one contender for this title. Was once a member of the Raw roster. Uh, wow. ECW roster, now part of the Raw roster. I mean, he was part of the Raw roster at first as well. But was drafted to ECW when ECW and WCW came around.
And unfortunately, unfortunately, ECW will be coming to an end on October 7th. And fuck me, Bruno held that title for seven years. God damn. I was way off. Sheamus, oh, big headbutt. Dropkick by Finn Balor. But yes, folks, Finn Balor, of course, went ahead and, uh, you know, when he won the Super J Mug tournament, he got the mug, and now he's just... Still waiting for his personalized jacket. Oh, big kick to the side of the head. Just look at the size difference between these two. It's unreal. Well, yes, folks. Sheamus will uh, have to relinquish the title if he is drafted to say NXT come October 11th that's right folks October 11th that night he will hold the WWE 2k17 draft big DDT there by Finn Finn picks up Sheamus Sheamus sweeps the leg Oh, interesting neck breaker there by the champ. Drives a knee right to the chest. But yes, folks, the, the tournament that Finn Balor won to get to this spot was uh, put on by Sheamus himself. Sheamus, of course, has gone through pretty much the entire Raw roster. One. No, Finn kicks out at one. The only men that he has not fought is Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. And follow a slam by Finn, or by Sheamus, excuse me. Sheamus now, white noise. Hits it. And Sheamus finally goes for the pin. One, two, no, Finn kicks out. Apparently they're calling spots. I can hear them all the way over here. Oh, snaps the neck. Now Sheamus has gone through the likes of Bray Wyatt, uh, Macho Man, trying to think, Mr. Perfect, Roman Reigns, John Cena, Triple H, uh, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, back when Seth Rollins was on, oh, Brain Buster there by the number one contender, yeah, back when Seth Rollins was on the roster, um, uh, gone through Dolph Ziggler, just the list, can, the list goes on and on, folks. Finn, sit down, power bomb. Picks the champ back up. Finn puts him on the ropes. And Finn tossing the champ outside. Oh my god, wait a minute, hold on. Flies, and oh! Sheamus had that well scouted. Finn just hits Matt on the outside and oh, belly to belly. That is not a thick mat, folks. That is thin. That still hurts, folks. Finn, big fist to the face. And oh, it's that kick. 
Gets taken down by the champ. Right past the count of five and Sheamus gets in the ring. Sheamus goes outside to break it up. He's going over to that table. Never mind. Not sure what Sheamus is doing. Making his way to the number one contender. Finn was waiting, but I think Finn had other plans and oh whipped right into the right into the uh barricade there. I mean would it be an Irish whip if both men are Irish? I mean, I know it would, but to them it would probably just be a whip, right? Anyways. Got Buster there. And Finn. Trying to get the lights to shine brighter, but they won't. This is as bright as they will get. Finn. Clothesline, clothesline, sling blade. Spins him around. No. Oh. Finn goes for the pin. One. Two. No kick out by Sheamus after that bloody Sunday. For the 1816 or something like that, whatever it's called now. And bro kick by the champion. One, two, three. Sheamus picks up another victory over she uh, Finn Balor. Oh, wow, Sheamus. Whoa! Wow, folks, that is the first time we've sh we've seen Sheamus show any kind of respect to any challenger, and Finn just slaps it away. Unbelievable, folks! But that is it for Monday Night Raw. I am your host, Jay. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all those who came out tonight. Even if it was just for a couple of minutes. Thank you. Thank you for watching on YouTube. I will see you for NXT. Good night. And of course, folks, NXT will happen tomorrow night, Tuesday. So, stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Tune in for that. Good night. I love you. Bye-bye.